Hello everyone, this is Princess Casserole, and I just wanted to hop on. Um, I know it's short notice, so there's <laughs> really no one in the chat yet, but that's okay. Um, I just wanted to do a friend mail and a thrift haul, so I'll wait a little bit on, on the friend mail. I did open it um, up a little bit so that I wouldn't um, cut off my fingers because um, it's something I would probably do live. Um, <laughs> so I'm actually going to my friend's house. Oh, hello. We do have someone joining us. A couple people. Um, so I'm actually going to go to my friend's house for St. Patrick's Day. I have my St. Patrick's Day shirt on and I have my little um, clover pin. I couldn't find, I have a necklace. I could not find it. Hi, Angie. Um, glad you guys could could make it. I know this was a little short notice, but it was nice to be able to fit it in. Um, so I'm going to do some of my um, things that I've recently got this week from the thrift store. Um, I was watching Karen and she kind of got me addicted to paper weights. Um, and this one was in a bag and there's two for $3.99. And I just think they're really neat. I know I am missing Jimmy. So my husband went to Philly. So hopefully he comes back in one piece. He went with his brother. So um, they, I'm sure they're having lots of fun. They're visiting one of my husband's friends from elementary school, actually. So um, a lot of his friends he's been friends with for a very long time, which is very nice. So so I thought this was really neat. I like, like the little controlled bubbles that we have going on. So I bought that and this one. Oh, I'm getting an error message here. So I'm going to not touch anything until <laughs> I finish because it happens. Can you guys still hear me and see me? Am I still working? I sure hope so. Okay, good. I can still see your chat. So I, <laughs> I don't know. My computer just does whatever it wants to do. So um, I also got this. So yeah, if I don't chat, um, you know, write in the chat, that's why, because um, I have an error message, but it'll usually work for a little while. So I have a little bit of time before my computer restarts itself. I need a new one, but um, I'm scared to buy a new one because this one I got and it was terrible. So uh, I need to spend a little bit more money. So this I thought was really cool. It says it's made in India in the bottom, but it's like a reproduction, Art Deco looking. And I think it was $5.99. So I thought it was really neat and I picked it up. Um, I'm actually going to put it up because I have a lot of brass statues. That's kind of our thing right now is we have brass and wood in my living room. So I always pick up the cool brass statues when I see them. Um, and one of the other things I pick up whenever I see them is, I can't remember what you call them. Is it a pinafore or something like that? It's the nice uh, nightgowns with the flowy chiffon fabric. So this was $5.99, it wasn't super cheap. Um, Vanity Baron is the name on it. And I just love these. I actually, I'll wear them to bed if they fit. But you'd be surprised what these go for on eBay and Etsy. And it's got the nice one at the bottom. And they often, most often come in pink. So the other color that I see is like a Tiffany blue. So... I just love these. I always pick them up. I went to a bunch of places today and um, like a negligee maybe. And I did not get much. So I went to like an estate sale and 
two different thrift stores and then I didn't get anything until I went to like the fourth or fifth uh, thrift store today. So, you know, some days, some days you'll win and some days you'll lose. So I got these. Um, let me get the other one too. They're actually salt and pepper shakers and I did not realize it. But I only like, I like the vintage Christmas stuff. And with like, I think you call it spaghetti, right? With the little pieces. And I thought these were super cute. Um, there's no signature on them. And this one I need to get the closure for, but I probably won't use them for salt and pepper shakers. They'll probably just be for decoration. But I love these things. I don't know when they're from. Are they like 50s? I think they're really cute. So these were $4.99. And like I said, I just think the vintage Christmas stuff is really neat. And the thing is, so if I get sick of this stuff, then I can sell it, which is nice. Um, and I also picked up a jewelry jar. And this is from a different place. So it was $5.99. I am pretty sure this is going to be 90% stuff that I donate back or throw out. But, um, you know, I figured I would try it as a different place. And it was only $5.99. So even if I find one thing for six bucks, you know, it's still, it was worth the, the digging. And then this one is eight bucks. Again, I can see Mardi Gras beads and stuff like that. But um, there were also just some other things. And I'm gonna do a video uh, about like the things that I found that are kind of like the best of items that I found in, in these and some tips. But um, one of the other things that I buy those for is rhinestones. So, and also like uh, clasps and things like that. So they're useful in that if I have something that I like, you know, and I need to repair it, then I will, I will be able to do that. Um, this one, I think, was like three bucks. Hi, junk lady. And it, I need so much <laughs> storage for things. So I thought this was kind of neat. It's got spaces for rings and earrings. And it's a neat little box. Unassuming, too. So, you know, I thought it was, it was a nice pickup. Those of us who like jewelry know the storage is, you know, it's an issue sometimes. And then I like the vintage um, hankies and scarves and things. So I thought this one was a really pretty color. It's got a vintage tag, if you can see it there. Um, so I just, I love the color on this. like. That brings out my, makes my skin tone look not as ghostly. <laughs> so, um, and then, hello, Linda. I also picked this up for $4.99. And I thought this, it doesn't have, you know, sometimes in the back they have it where you can hang them up and put things in there, but this one doesn't. So what I thought I could do is put some felt in here and store some of my jewelry in this too because i love these print cabinets um or the printer drawers and again i pick up things so if i get sick of it and i can just i can resell it and make more than my money back so <laughs> all right so oh the only other thing i have is hats so my brother loves hats, so he wears like wool sweaters and he will also wear hats. Also, if if my computer shuts down, I'll be back on. Um, it might take me 10 or 15 minutes, but I will. I'll be back. 
because I just have to restart it even though I restarted it already, but hopefully it doesn't kick me off. So I got him this with the pheasant feathers for my brother. So hopefully it'll fit his head. Um, Jim would get it, but his head is, <laughs> Jim's head's really big, so none of these older hats fit him. <laughs> Hi, Paula. So, and I just love these. You can see it says Mr. Charles in the back. So the tag is older. So hopefully that will fit my brother's head. And then these two I got <clears throat> just because I thought they were cool. So this one is Dobbs Fifth Avenue. And this one was $7.99. So it's a little more expensive, but it is really well made. And this one had a receipt in it from Klein Hands, which um, was a store here in Buffalo. It was in the leather lining here, which I think is cool. So it almost fits my head. So we just, I just got it to have it. And then this one has a little feather here. This one was $5.99 and it's a, it's a Stetson hat. And inside the brim here, the guy has his card. He was a licensed real estate agent. Um, and it's got the store that it was what that it was bought in and everything on here. So I just thought it was a really cool hat. Even if you know my husband just uses it for display. I thought it was pretty cool. I like this this hat. It almost fits my head. Maybe I'll just wear it. <laughs> um, so, um, Ginka loves makeup, I think. That's her name. Um, well, I know that's her name, but I hope I pronounced it correctly. I guess it's uh, Gina in Russian is how, how you um, say it or where it's from but she has been a subscriber for a really long time and this is something I wouldn't normally do but she really wanted something that I'd found in a jewelry jar um, and the condition wasn't great so I didn't feel good about selling it to her um, so she suggested friend mail so that's kind of what we did so I gave her a couple things including that um, cause I don't want to sell anything if it's broken or it's got condition issues. I'm only going to sell it if, you know, I would sell it on my Etsy store. So, and I don't want anyone to think they ever get anything, you know, that's not good from me because, you know, I know Angie's like that too. You know, she takes pride in what she does. So that's why hopefully Angie liked everything that I gave her, um, to try to give her only things that were good quality. So we did friend mail and uh, I think she said she didn't mind if I read this out loud. This is cute. My husband's gonna love that. Um, so she said, thanks for doing friend mail with you. I hope you like your items. I added some extra little things since you plan on selling on eBay and stuff and I'll probably do Etsy um not ebay my husband already has an ebay account so if i do anything on there i'm going to make him do it so just because you know it, it'll just be to get out things rather than um my etsy store that's kind of why I'm, i haven't done it yet i want it to be perfect nothing's ever perfect so you know but you can try to make it as perfect as possible right this is really neat I love this um, a Christmas brooch. It's not signed in the back or anything, but this is timely because I really need to get started on my aunt's um, brooch bouquet and hers is going to be like a Christmas in the summer theme and we're going to use Christmas brooches. So that is really nice for that. And Huh. This one has a hang tag. It says Revlon. I did not know Revlon did jewelry. So this is nice. It'll be nice with um, some of the pendants that I have that need a home. Very nice. 
Oh, and I see a 1928 piece. So see, I gave, gave one and I get one. That's so cute. Yeah, I'm actually going to try to do a video on how I do the brooch bouquets because the way that I figured the best for me and trying to, to keep the integrity of the brooches intact, because some people break them off. And that's why I know when I get them donated, when somebody did a brooch bouquet with them a different way. So I try to keep, you know, everything intact. So, and I... I'm an advocate for that. So I'm going to try to share that with everybody on how, how to do the brooch bouquets without ruining the brooches because I use some of my grandmother's in them. So this one is neat. Uh, doo -doo. So hard to try to get these things to focus. It always wants to look at something else. Yeah, I'm going to definitely try. I'm probably not going to do the, the ribbon roses, like how to do those. But I'm going to try to do how to string it on the wire and put it together. And I'll show you the one that I did for myself for my wedding. There we go. That's a little better. So this is adorable. I love this. And it's small. So, you know, small things are sometimes even better, I think, because... Sometimes it takes a little bit of effort to see it. So this is really cute too. And I think that'll be nice. These ones are harder though, because it's harder to um, hide that, but it might be able to go on the stem too. I hope she likes what I sent her as well. So I'm hoping, I think she should have gotten it the other day. And then there was this one, it's plastic. That's cute. And this is cute. I don't play tennis, but if I did, I would really like that. Those are actually the earrings, it's the balls. Those are really cute. Um, Miss D, M S D E E. That's cute. My daughter doesn't play either, or that would be special. My daughter plays softball and um, volleyball. This is absolutely stunning. See here, let me show you guys this. And actually, I could probably wear it tonight. There's a couple rhinestones in the bag. And uh, so I will use this to do the other video. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. On how to replace rhinestones. Um, and I don't, I don't necessarily do it, you know, the right way. I, you know, I use the right glue and everything. This looks like a pot metal brooch to me, you know, from the back and everything. This is beautiful. Yeah, the pink brooch would go with the pink scarf. They have the same tone. So this is beautiful. Very nice. I love the green stones. And I love pot metal brooches. They're really cool. So you'll probably see this in another video when I show you guys how I glue in the stones. And they're teeny tiny, so they're going to be challenging. <laughs> but it's worth it because this is absolutely beautiful. I totally love this. And the other things, too. You're right. This one would be nice with that. I can't find it now. It would also be nice with the negligee. And there's this little bracelet. It's plastic, but I think that's a pretty classic style with the, um, I've seen this a lot now with the gold and the wrapped around the bangle. Boop, boop. Um, so I think that's neat. It's a classic design. 
And I don't know what it is about black and hot pink, but it's neat. Black and hot pink is a cool combination, I think. And again, that's kind of why I like some of the older jewelry, even, even the 80s jewelry. They use colors in the 80s that they don't really use anymore, like fuchsia, you know? So this is really cute. I could see it making, uh, you know, if you did it with a contrasting color with the pink, would be neat. And two more things. And um, this subscriber, I think you guys probably all know her. It is plastic. Both of them were plastic. I just love seeing her comments because every time she comments, they're always so positive and uh, she's so sweet. So I do love it. Hi, Sheila. Yeah, so I love black and hot pink. I don't know what it is about it, but it's neat. This one's pretty. I don't think it's older. It's the clasp needs to get replaced. Um, and that I will not do a video on yet because I am really... The restringing is the easy part. It's putting on new findings. That's really difficult. So this is really pretty. So another combination is white or crystal with black that I think is just timeless. You know, you could find jewelry in that combination for any decade. And I think that's cool. So it's very pretty. I will have to restring it because that is, you know, that's not safe. So um, to have things where things are worn off and you have the um, material underneath without the wrapping, um, I just, I wouldn't advocate for that because you can inhale things like the little pieces of metal and you never want to do that. So it's one thing to watch out for. And one, one reason why condition is so important with um, vintage jewelry, you know, because some of the stuff does have, you know, things you wouldn't want to breathe in. But I mean, what you you probably shouldn't be breathing in much other <laughs> other than air anyway. Um, this is fun. I don't know if this is like, you know, it probably goes in the back. You know, when you're cinching in something to make it fitted which I think these were kind of more popular in the 80s to cinch it in in the back to give yourself a waist um, or the 90s. Because I think a lot of 90s dresses were just like, you know, you remember like the friends dresses and they all had sunflowers on them. And that is why I hate sunflowers now because of the 90s. <laughs> I know it's a crazy thing, but it just reminds me of my childhood. Um, and not in a good way. I just never liked that look. This is really cute. I don't think it's a sweater clip because it's so small. I do think it's like, you know what I mean? When you when you hook it on and then you would cinch something in in the back. I've seen a couple of them lately. And I think that's what it is. And this is one of the nicer ones that I've seen. Because some of the other ones, they, um, they don't look as nice. Whoops. I just dropped my heart. So this is really cute. It's a cute little little heart pin with the thing. Again, I like the little touches because you can even put them on a you know on a hat too. Like how cute is that? Pins I think are pretty um, versatile. And one of the guys who's a bartender, not my just my husband, but he started wearing like the little pins like this. And it's Avon. That's not surprising. It looks like an Avon piece. I like, you know, Angie and I were talking about that. I do like some of the Avon pieces are pretty nice. Lead designed. So anyway, <laughs> some of the guys were wearing little pins. And I guess it's a thing that some, some guys are doing. This is heavy. It's a nice, nice round circle and some nice um, cufflinks, the style. 
And again, my husband just found um, out they have convertible cuffs, so he just bought those um, because a lot of shirts don't have the cuff holes anymore, but he bought some that have buttons and the holes so you can do either or, which is cool. So hopefully doing more of those um, will make, make our sales go up. Hi, she's here. Jenka loves makeup. I'm going to say the, <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm terrible at it. The bingo with the black and pink necklace. Actually bone and gold. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's hard to know because it's so light too. Oh, you know what? There, I didn't even notice there is a little signature in here. I'm glad you said that. I can't read it. It's absolutely teeny tiny. Um, but this is really cool then. I do have some. You know what? I will show you in the next one my other bangles that I have that's like this. And this will go absolutely perfect with some other ones that I have. I'm so glad you said that. And that also goes to show, you know, sometimes like with amber and ivory and bone, it can feel different sometimes. So you don't know what it is. So that's why I always say too, look at things twice because you just never know what you have until you look at it more than once sometimes. Yeah, I'm loving this. So I love the stuff you gave me. I hope you like what, did you get your package yet? I hope you like what you got from me too. And is this a money clip? It's swank. Or is it like a tie bar? I don't know. <laughs> Some dude sold it to me as vintage bone. Yeah, it does look like it now that you said that, now that I took a, a closer look. It's so light and uh, like it's, Bone's not cold to the touch, you know? So this is really cool. I like it. A tie clip, you think? Boop. It's a really big one. It's not wide enough for the 70s ties, though. <laughs> Unless you wear it up higher. I Sometimes I, wear, I buy my husband the 70s ties that are like this big. <laughs> and it's like, it's huge. So you should get it any time now, because I sent it the same day that Angie... Angie got hers, and she got it the other day. So um, look it up, because I'm sure you should get it any time now. And let me know. Let me know if you like everything that I got gotcha. you. Because I'm trying to do good figuring people out. And I think that's kind of an art, too, is sending people things that they like and like learning people's style. It's kind of fun. This is super cute. Does not want to focus. I love that. It's so simple and really cool. And the I like things that look like action. You know, like this looks like it's actually moving and flying. And that's really cool. I like that a lot. I'm stumped by the Revlon. I'm going to have to look that up. It's interesting. Oh, thank you. I love my creative spirit. I love your name. Um, I used to do a lot more crafting. I need to get back into it. Like I said, I literally need to get back into it because I need to make my aunt's bouquet. And I need to do it before I'm doing it at the last minute. So that is really cute, too. See, and some of this stuff, you know, you see it and it, it just looks kind of, you know, you might pass it up or, you know, not see it. But sometimes when you wear it, it just looks so much different. And this is one of those things. So I think if you saw it sitting there, you might not pick it up. But if you picked it up, and again, you can wear brooches anywhere. You can wear them on a hat too. You can wear them on your backpack. You can wear them on suspenders, you know, I need to get creative about how I wear my brooches because I love them. So this is really pretty. It has a little teeny tiny signature here, but I 
I can't for the life of me read it and I forgot my um I really need to get like three or four different loops and have them in my purse and <laughs> in every floor so that I always have them and this is really pretty this is one of those things that'll dress up anything too so again like how cute is that on a felt hat so I these are really pretty and they're also nice like on a pocket or on a collar so these are really cool and you know you can always put in like if you have jump rings and you put the jump rings through it you know you can always wear things as a necklace too so you know I, that's something i should do too is just put two jump rings in and you know show how to to wear things as a necklace too so this is really pretty it's just fancy you know so that's why i love brooches because they can completely transform like a plain a plain sweater yep on a scarf scarves are really cool with brooches or scarf clips um and some people my age don't know that there are scarf clips they don't know how to wear brooches. So um, that's also something that would probably be a good idea too, is to do a video about how to wear brooches too, because I think people my age don't always know how versatile that they can be. And, you know, so they don't pick them up. Scarves too, there are like so many ways to wear scarves. So I'm YouTubing people to see the different ways that they wear scarves because I have seen them, let me see if I can find mine, so many cool different ways. So the one lady I saw like just had the scarf like this, you know, like going down her shoulder and wear it in your hair or, you know, so many different ways to do things like that. So, and let's see. I think you're right about this. Oh, look how cute that is. That is super spring. I love it. So I love everything you sent. Um, again, you'll see this again when I um, try to repair it. The stones in there, you guys can't see them. They are teeny, teeny, tiny. That's why I'm leaving it in here. So it'll be fun to, to replace the stones. And again, I don't use, I think there's dap, dapping tools or something. I usually just use my finger to place it in because um, I feel like I have a little bit more control. But honestly, the, <laughs> the clues that you use, you're not supposed to touch or anything. If you read them, it says in California, they cause cancer and everything. <laughs> so um I'm never going to tell you to, to touch the, um, any of the glue that you use to fix any of this stuff because it is toxic. It's not, not good for you. So um, I think that's all I've got. Oh, I did get one other thing. I think this was $4.99 before I go. And my husband looked this up quickly yesterday and... Um, I have no idea. It says Silver Soldered, and it's Gorham Company. It's got um, a little anchor on it and some numbers and an M. And I know this is a British symbol. So I don't know if this is actually silver or just silver plated, but I thought it was really neat. And it has like a kid reading a book on either end. And when you open it up, I think he said that he saw this was a butter strainer. So, and this comes, comes out too. So I just, I pick up things that look old <laughs> and I don't know. 
sometimes I don't know what they are. There's a warming dish that I have for like kids food too. So I just, I pick up weird things <laughs> whenever I see them. They're, they're like old. I, uh, I pick them up. So, all right. So I only actually need 35 more subscribers. So I'm excited about that too. So thank you guys that are all subscribed to me. And, uh, I think that's exciting. I'm ex I'm happy to force my husband to do his cat pin video. Uh, oh, did jewelry too? Oh, I'll have to look that up too because I like seeing the older things um, and learning about new companies to look out for as well. So, yeah, my husband will be doing that cat pin video when he gets back from Philly probably um, and. I will hopefully get to go live with it sometime in the near future. And I'm going to put some things away for a small giveaway, nothing too um, extravagant or anything. But now that I did the MSP auction and I um, mailed things to everybody, I got some experience with that. <laughs> and that was part of the reason too that I haven't set up my Etsy yet is because I wanted to get some experience with mailing things, the post office, packing things, um, and everything like that, because, you know, that's something when you're new, you don't, you don't know how to do yet either. So, um, having get, gotten some of that under my belt, I will work on pictures and different things too. So, all right, everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I, um, we have a parade here in Buffalo on two days, and it gets insane. So I didn't go down to the to the parade. There's like hundreds of people and at least half of them are drunk. So um, it's just kind of crazy. So I'm gonna go over to my friend's house and um, eat some corned beef and cabbage. And um, I am part Irish. So it's exciting to, to go and to have fun with my friends. So all right, guys, thank you very much for joining me on such short notice, and I will see you in my next video. I did um, film a jewelry jar unboxing, so that'll be coming up in the near, near soon time. Thank you for coming in. I love my creative spirit, and Lisa, and Angie, and Paula, and Bla uh, Blackberry Thistle Tea, and especially to uh, Gina. Um, I very much love and appreciate everything and so did everybody else. So thank you all.